Aaron just is. So. First of all, September uh, 13th. <clears throat> this is a timeline, uh, a Ryan timeline. So, lessons. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Greetings. I am Orion from Orion, a female humanoid. Yes, we are the council. Your advancements of spiritual knowledge of us is curious. Yes, our vibrations are very intertwined in the pyramid energies. As you can say, that is the body, that is the soul. It's also a Rubik's cube. Is also connected to your planet of moving things around, making things complicated, convoluted, backwards. You are here to understand your place in the universe of achieving a more positive state as yes many beings here have caused difficulties for you to discover yourselves orion is a preview of the rest of how this universe operates yes it's good to have a positive outlook but also remember your inner strength as there's much here that is very difficult for the mind to understand as many of you know the realizations of the true earth that you're living on so we are just saying this you're a part of a global awakening that currently has not fully activated itself as for alien energies to come into your reality as yes you well you have to first unlearn a learn who the Orions are is this we are very connected to your medical field as you warn about your own genetics your own way of life as yes new timelines are brought into your earth to shift things to change things as your world is not going to be normal as it used to be it will be alien so it is going alien already you're not recognizing the past so much are you as you are seeing things are being changed, timelines shifting, where you look at the past, it's like, so there, that's over with now. <laughs> and yes, the we'll just go by the ISIS energies on your planet. Yes, they're very poignant. Uh, yes, they control the female energy, but also is a positive side of the female, of course, also. But the viciousness of the ISIS energies has caused the world much pain, but of course the male has done so also through our science, our sciences, our science. The god of the underworld with the Egyptians. <laughs> As yes, both of them are yes, connected to Orion to build your earth. So how this works is just become is information awareness of what you're prepared for. What are you internally ready for? Like, are you ready for strange objects in the sky to become very more real? It's like you have to, we have to even wait for some individuals on your world, certain ones that have been chosen to help others understand what's going on, meaning some people have a following. Because when alien energies do connect to your Earth, yes, it's going to be very diverse. As yes, we can push the button instantly for it to occur. But as I happen, because the human is still figuring itself out, yes, what it wants to be on this world. It has not read itself quite clear. As some of you are understanding your spiritual understanding of the universe, as there's always going to be a few of you, not the entire human race. Not at this point, no. In time, yes. 
it has to be an experience wanted. But your connection to alien energies is many of you are becoming more responsible of your inner alien vibrations, your connections, allowed to come more into your atmosphere. Not that it's going to happen fast, as many hear our message and probably get scared instantly. <laughs> One of the reasons why we say it to begin with <laughs> is see who pulls back. And many would. That does not mean you're not adding to your reality as you, as you speak. Your reality is getting an upgrade. It's maybe a seldom upgrade. It's not the strongest. You're not flying in cars and all that. We are changing an evolution of what you know, which is a you're healing the root race that you're connected to in your past. You're going forward into an energy field unlike anything I've ever seen before. A, a soul transformation, the earth transformation. But the earth is no longer what it is as you are defining it. A less wicked world. And some of you feel like you are healing that vibration. As some are holding it on. So as you know more of your positive self, your truth, your strength, you will see more of who is running your show. It depends on how many pages you want to turn to see more and see who you are. As yes, as many layers of Orion here, yes, through the medical fields, as we keep repeating that, through your military, that's more of a, a negative enforcement from Orion. Our normally reptilians, but not always, usually. There's always a, a humanoid Orion being that is commander in chief, hidden through rank, but hidden within your shadow governments. And many Orion beings are here in human form. As you don't hear much about that, other humanoids, well, you have heard some of them, but I don't hear much about Orions doing such a thing. As yes, we influence your cultures, we're also very much involved with being here on as human, as we can shape shift the same as you. or. You actually all have the ability. Yes, it just hasn't been fully activated. <laughs> so you're on the horizons of understanding yourselves. All we are saying is how far you want to open your minds. Now you want to open it up, continue, but you want to let yourself out of the gate of this earth. You can do so. Allowing new timelines, galactic timelines to come in that will change your government systems, change everything. And you will feel it happening. So this is alien. I mean, yes, everything is technically alien, but you feel another higher influence as you are going through today in your current Earth climate. So alien timelines are known to be part of your society and but not always the clearest. Major timelines that happen on your world are not always alien, but many alien galactic energies are coming in because you're allowing it. Doesn't mean you're going to change the world completely, but you are moving away from the tra traditions of the old past into a place that is, you have to kind of go into a strange timeline before you go into a Galactic timeline, you have to go into a strange reality where nothing is what it used to be anymore. You see the cords releasing, and then you have a new reality that comes in. Greetings, this is Inky. Yes, your time on this planet is realizing 
your place in the world. Setting your timeline from your birth timeline to your current timeline. For you to figure out what the future holds. One way of going about it, yeah, is tapping into yourself. See if there's any blockages within you. Is it just the fear of the future? Is it reptilian energy, a Syrian energy, a jealousy energy? And once you adjust your vibration to clear that blockage, seeing the future might not be completely clear, but knowing yourself to allow more of the future timelines to connect with you, to see more of the future, go into more of a reality of knowing more about yourself. It's all about you in the long run. You say it's about aliens and different energies. And yes, there's a truth to that, but in the long run, it really has about you. And do you necessarily need to know the future? <laughs> Maybe more of the past. Now and the past of where you come from, or just be able to make peace with a world that is the opposite of your vibration. Well, in theory, it seems to be that way. You're basically going into the inside depths of this reality to know more about yourself, strengthen who you are, so you can strengthen who is here. Not always so you can see who is here. <laughs> it's not always necessary to happen at all at once, of course. It's all what you want to experience, too. What do you want to experience? It's alien contact. Yeah, it's good to know yourself more. And eventually to see through the energies connecting with you and becoming more part of your life, if necessary, for your growth. Your growth is all that matters here. Now, yes, you realize there's a presence here, or many presence. You're to suppress your reality. But you're to overcome those suppressions. You see more into who's closing the door of your reality. Your Illuminati. Yes, it's not as strong as they seem to be. They have many weaknesses. A lot of it has to do with health. Also, insecurities of who they are. As there's usually, yes, someone bigger and badder and more intelligent than them. They can outsmart them. <laughs> There's always someone with a, a, a deeper edge. So you're here to heal that vibration too. Make peace with this earth all around. Some of you have timelines here that are very difficult, we understand. And it's not always you're there for somebody else, not always for yourself. And as soon as that timeline clears, then you're set free. <laughs> it's not always a karma situation. Some receive it that way, but it's a soul journey that is necessary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some souls here just have it way too good. Mm -hmm. And they're sometimes terrified of how long it's going to last, or they have a funny feeling that eventually it'll all go away. Mm -hmm. But that's in their uh, reality. For most of you, yes, you provide a service for humanity to grow. And you are free to allow it to flow through you. Sharing your knowledge with others, knowledge within yours, because all of your knowledge comes together. And some are, doesn't want to share their knowledge. So we even give you details of those that are in your third dimension that don't believe in any of this. In the long run, they don't want to share what they know. <laughs> Yes, a third dimensional human doesn't believe in aliens, ghosts, anything. But they have a lot of knowledge that they're keeping to themselves. Now, they are sharing it to a certain degree. But I'm not about to open it up. You'd be surprised how many that are shut down know a great deal about your world. As many of them came here to uh, populate it through the Orions, not through other places, of course, where much of it came from, Orion is for you to decipher what is right for you, of course, in the long run. Your ancient symbols that you're connected to, 
They're going down to Egypt. Ancient Egypt, and of course, before. Egypt is your starting point, the timeline starter of well, your Israel and Arab, other Arab nations. You have a launch point of your society. Now you're going for full circle, going back into those worlds and discovering more about yourself. All right, I'm going to do a different. Uh, so that was Orion Council, Orion. So I'm going to do the Orion God instead. So we get it from that. So we drink up. So it's, I think it sounds like I did Osiris. Osiris. Yeah, Osiris. All right. Um, I think maybe we're going to do Great God. Greetings to you. I am Orion. Yes, a deity, a god, a form, a... I am that's connected to much of your world, of course. It is about inner strength that you are warning, basically to clear out deception. You're basically here to grow out corruption with peace. But also let the darkness do what it needs to do to finish its plan to leave because many are connected. So basically, t darkness or oppressors bring in timelines and people grab onto them. Many of you are disconnected from that, but most society is not. So you can't just rip people out of their timeline. That's why they're not aware of the aliens or anything. They're on a specific timeline. So you have to let that, let nature take its course, as you've heard. And you can assist, you can do whatever you want, uh, but not to preach, not to drain your vibration out. And it won't, it can happen uh, to some of you. You're not trying to experience that, but you're going into a, a new realm of yourselves. So the more you make peace, now you can astrally connect to the timeline of those that brought suppression to your world. Archon beings, Orion beings. Yes, there's an Orion Council, you say called the Dark Council, to make it easier for you to understand. <laughs> and they feel as if your world is not ready for much of anything. They rule the birds being alien beings across your planet of bringing to shut your alien connection down. Basically, you had a lot of alien connections until recent memory. Now you still have it, it's just it's becoming less and less now. Ash is more frequent, but now you have social media and everything, a lot of it has cooled down in certain areas, not everywhere. And you know, you're understanding CGI and all that, but realize when you do CGI, you are channeling the alien vibration that does exist. It might not be in that location, which is true. So you're bringing in a new energy field. So your aliens being seen on your physical, so it has to do with you and in in you here, your, your position here. Not just knowing yourselves. It's it's a, a lot of that timeline to occur that for your alien awakening, your shift into higher dimensions, your shift out of the third dimension completely. It is up to you where you want to go. There's many timelines that you're healing at this point. So you're going into a new phase of yourselves. <laughs> So you're adding a new look to you. You remember, so people become more alien. 
They be, they re remove all of the gender energies. You become more free internal. Now you're doing that internally. Eventually, you'll be doing it externally with the systems you have here. So non-binary system, basically. A more fluid society. Right now, it's very third dimension, for now. So your alien vibrations, yes, are working through you. So you know more of yourself. Doesn't mean you have to change your gender or anything, but some um, well, is necessity for their growth. But as you change yourself, the earth will change its own vibration. <clears throat> so you're you're writing the tales of reality. Look at things a little bit different. Okay, this is um I want to say this is part one, part three, but we'll see. So just uh all right. Lessons, here we go. Greetings to you. This is Anki. Our, yes, our partnership with the Earth had a lot to do with where your world is going at this time. There is a life force that flows through to understand the laws of the land. There's another reason why the Earth is not opened up as some of you would like it to. You are here to solve many problems and not always realizing what problems those are as you are solving them in your own life. Like you might have a distraction of, you're looking one direction, you're not always looking into the internal direction. That is not always an easy energy to see. Of what is causing, so what is causing you frustration in this reality, a lot of times it has to do with what you have to clear within yourself. And some of it has to do with unmasking yourself, unlocking yourself to bring in this new earth energy, this new reality. You're slowly figuring yourself out, like the roll of decks and the soul. You're taking one page after the other to figure out what your placement is here on the universe. As you all come from somewhere else, yes, this is not your, well, some of you call it home, but it's not necessarily home. This is a a project you can call this yes it's a temporary home as many of you know it's kind of like you're building something <laughs> uh and you're on the construction site at this time <laughs> and many of you feel like you know i think i'm going to somewhere a lot more peaceful and you are <laughs> it's just this world needs your vibration is construction to, it's not fully formed, as you can see. If it was fully formed, you would know that at this time. <laughs> so you're building the earth. <laughs> uh, you can say Babylon. <laughs> you are building on the Tower of Babylon. You can call it whatever you want. You're building the earth to... It was torn down in the past and being re rebuilt many times, actually. But in each rebuilding... The foundation is much stronger, as many of you probably feel. And the structure of your reality and you. So you're here to figure out your self-worth, your inner self on a whole new level. The, the deep intertwining self of you. Who are you? What worlds you're connected to? What is your soul name? Or better yet, what is your soul purpose? Or how how lost you are in the spirit world, why you came here, because spirits can get lost in the spirit world too. Because spirits in the spirit world can go want to do many things at once, and they can, but still not figure out themselves. So many of you incarnate here doing the same thing. You are a shadow of your spiritual self. So as many things you want to accomplish here, I want to do this, I'm going to do that, but nothing ever gets done. It's like, I don't know what I'm doing here. 
So you're redefining who you are. You're 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 bringing out an answer here, because in spirit, as everyone thinks, you have the, all the answers there. Not necessarily. What you are doing is making yourself a better soul in the spirit realms. As many of you sometimes feel that I can't make a decision, my life depended on it. Sometimes that's the case. But that's what you're doing here. You're here to make the wrong decision, so eventually make the right decision. And the wrong decision, like, well, and you feel the impact of that wrong decision, which also puts you into the right direction. It could be at work, it could be with family, it could be whoever it is. Um, it can set you on your, your main path that's not always very clear. So it's just a, a new way of looking at things, a deeper conclusion of who you are, a roadmap that you are still piecing together. So what does this all mean? It's basically follow your desires. Yes, you make a mistake, own it. It's okay, I don't want to do that again. Uh, some people get married 10 times. Eventually, well, there's nothing wrong with that. You're figuring out what works for you. There's nothing wrong with making these mistakes. Buying a car that you shouldn't have bought. I mean, yes, you're feeling the pain of it, of buying something wrong or living something wrong, but now you know not to do that again. <laughs> it's just going through the pain of the wrongness is really hitting you home, as you know. Because in spirit, I mean, this is help you also build into, because you're here to be in, in charge of bigger things in life, where many lives are, it impacts many lives. So you might as well do your life as, you know, the simplicity of everyday life and kind of like master it in some regard, maybe not perfectly, because some of you are going to a another level of affecting many more when the time it might not be on this world. You want to be able to make less mistakes as an alien being uh, where it impacts less souls. So if you make a mistake, it doesn't hurt others when you are in charge of others. So many of you are becoming leaders from this world in a positive way, and you're learning from the dark ones that have been brought here. <laughs> so it makes you a better leader by dealing with bad relationships, bad job, whatever it is, it's all to make you a wiser spirit in the long run. The spirit world can only do so much. As this is where the adventure is, as unexciting as it might be, you're here to make it more adventurous when the time is right. Make do with what you have, but of course, always want to grow. As some that are, yes, in a celebrity status at this point, are having difficulties handling that celebrity status. But once again, you're there to touch others. So many of you that want to go in that route, maybe, maybe just assisting humanity, you want to be able to be put in front of everyone and be able to handle it better. That's one of the reasons why many of you are here. That seems to me. Okay, Greg, sorry. This is, uh... Sorry, this is the next one. Greetings to you. This is Anunnaki. Once again, this is Anki. Greetings to you. Your werewolf is also part of soul design. As yes, there's a shape shifting vibration part of your history, and still is. As yes, a fourth dimensional being, depending on his DNA, as we are Anunnaki beings, we can shape shift quite easily, and come into your physical form quite easily without being pulled down through the low vibrational energy. So we are, you are learning the architect of yourself. 
As 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 Anunnaki beings, they're not exactly as adored by many. We are still misunderstood. Not to say we are a perfect race, because there are some beings that yes will take a human race and wipe it out, at least to cause difficulty. Let's put it that. But the shape shifting vibration is very part of your biology, as some of you feel that you are shape shifters, as that is part of your own awakening. As yes, in your primitive time period, it was not a known fact, but some of you did shape shift automatically because you had a lot of Anunnaki energies connected to you. So I feel like when you're a young human, brand new, still understanding yourself and be able to shape shift quite easily. And that was one of the reasons why you were shut down because there's too many shapeshifters in the world. There's more to it than that. But yes, the story of the werewolf is quite true in your Greek mythology because some of you did find yourselves in a Greek uh, town um, as a werewolf and some did lose their control. This is not myth. <laughs> Difficult to prove Yes, but as you are opening up the, the lining of yourselves, as you also realize you are many versions of you within you as you are today, you are perfecting your, your version here. Yes, you're taking your past lives and perfecting your current version right now. All your past lives still exist as individual beings too. Yes, it's like you're, anytime you incarnate, you create a version of yourself so so you can probably feel all the versions of you that continue on today <laughs> in their own forms have their own minds do their own thing and yes you're in a can you don't always get along with your other versions but they're all you and eventually it does come to you make it work somehow but yes you can have realities where you're battling yourself Yes, when there's several of you, actually, they might not always look identical to you, but you are battling yourself. <laughs> so uh, you're having it here, but it's just not brought up on a grand scale. Saddam Hussein is, you could say, a version of your, your Bush family, like a son that was cast out. <laughs> Thought he was better than them. Because there is a family line there, which does go to an Anunnaki uh, connection. And your modern you know, royalty is here to cover things up, using America to cover up the Babylon in your Iraq. So yes, your, your Britain and America are intertwined. Of course, the shadow government is not always for the public. I've <laughs> As many of you know, this is nothing new. But we'll leave you with that. Okay, this is, uh, I can say it's part three of Anki uh, uh, going to town. So, all right, what's this? Here we go. Greetings to you. This is Anki once again. Greetings to your sight. You're also going further into your understanding of spirit. I just there's a lot of darkness there. They're here to release, allow more positivity to come through. For you are understanding your spiritual self. As yes, it is a fragment of you at this time. As the spirit world is learning from you every day, no matter what. <laughs> Of course, when you go through those tests of nothing working out, you know, that's when the soul really brightens up and go, and also takes you to a whole nother stress level. So it enhances your stress level to be able to handle it sometimes. <laughs> Some souls are so fragile because they're, you know, so, they're so used to the higher dimensions. Their souls are not able to handle this density. <laughs> So every soul can learn how to understand this world. Uh, we don't care how high vibrational you are. 
Just because you're here does not make you like a nobody. Far from it. You can be in the higher dimensions. We have to go through the school to prepare for this reality. Through other worlds, become a reptilian if you wish. You don't have to go that route. You can become an Andromedan. You can do whatever you want. But you go through all your soul incarnations before you enter here. So you can handle this world. Also, your aliens that are assisting you at this time, many of them have not had a human incarnation, but they're learning from you on how to do it. <laughs> many of you just said, the hell with it. We're just going to freaking do it. <laughs> they're teaching all of these beings, Ashtar Command, everybody, Orions, how to incarnate in a world like this. Now, some might just say, brush it off, don't think anything of it. Think again. <laughs> Now, realize many of your humans are part of the high mind thinking of your government systems and all that. Remember, they come from alien worlds where it is a high mind world, too. So they're just used to it. To them, this is normal. <laughs> but many of you have snapped out of it and continue to share that. And yes, there's many levels of snapping out of it. There's always a level of awakening. You hit one, you go to the next, you go to the next, and the next thing you know, you're on the moon. Physically. <laughs> So as ever, there's just levels of the soul. Doesn't mean you're better. Doesn't mean this. Doesn't mean that. <laughs> it's just, and that's where the ego has to be healed. And that is a great. The ego is another reason why the world is not going into the alien connections. Also, is because the ego here on this world is out of control. <laughs> it has to calm itself, find more loving nature of itself, and then you'll have your aliens more connected to you because they're not perfect you're not perfect and the idea is to heal your differences because that's the problem they had in the earth's past humans had an ego beyond more of what you have seen today it has calmed down because it's it warned it cannot always get what it wants <laughs> things have not gone as well as planned as they thought there's a lot of soul journeys that you were warning at this time there's a lot of you know, you're going into your, as even now, many are, yes, the world of the old is now gone <laughs> because of your certain pandemic situation. So another ego hit, you can say, for some. I thought I had it all figured out, and now all this has happened, and I don't know what's going on. This is actually there to heal the ego. There's more to it than all of this as we're going into. I believe you understand. All right, Griggs. Okay, this is, I'm not sure if this is going to be a channel. It might be a short channel. Um, maybe. Um, uh, this is about Edgar Casey. So Edgar Casey, um, well, as you can tell, he's um, <clears throat> talked about Atlantis, gave us more information about that. Talked about um, how more people are doing that. It, he was more of a healer, channeling healer, which is great. Something that I'm not built for for sure. Um, so. I heard a someone on YouTube, I don't mention names, saying nobody's ever gone to that degree again. Or I think there's healers I heard now, but you know what he's I mean a lot of people probably say a lot of stuff that not you can't I mean there's been a bunch of other Casey type of people out here just is not famous, that's all. <laughs> Uh, but I think a lot of people have said a lot of stuff. I mean, we're, we're, there's nothing else to say. I mean, there's, there's more to say, but not on a, you know, we're going into a new age of discovering all this stuff. Just, I don't know, just, you know, I know Edgar Casey has a celebrity and everything. He was an excellent healer, just amazing i guess he used his powers in the past like a lantern lifetime that's why i had to be the sleeping prophet uh but he is you know he opened the door for other channels so, you know um which is great but you know i don't know just um 
some people bring information in and don't get any credit whatsoever. So, uh, so I think there's been other Edgar cases here. It's just nobody gives a shit. <laughs> so that's what I'm getting at. Um, and then people, some people, and they're just not getting the credibility. You know, they're not getting attention where it might be. And what else is there to say anyway? I mean, we're here to live it. We're here to experience the awakening, you know, the change and finding these things eventually. Uh, we're just going into a new, yeah, like a new version of Earth. Or an Atlantean Earth is what I got. So, um, All right, so... Um, and there's, what's his name? I forget. Wilcox says, David, uh, Edgar Casey reincarnated. No, I don't think so. But he was probably, he probably was connected to him in some way. For him to be that, I would imagine that, uh, Wilcox was healed by Casey, actually. Which would make you more fascinated by somebody like that. But there must have been some kind of betrayal or something because he doesn't believe in channeling at all. So there must have been something that occurred. I'm not going to go into details. I feel like there was like bookkeeping or something that was done or money that was done that was kind of shady somewhere. And I think Casey's kind of has that reputation of some connected to criminals or something like that. Or I thought he was a criminal, but there was uh, some kind of... Uh, um, illegal activities going on. I think it was, yeah, there's a channel, some kind of, um, anyway. Okay, I think, uh, your case is a good idea to go into. Uh, I did some channelings earlier this week, and they were very short with my energies. At least I got something. So I'm actually recouping. Um, even when I'm not channeling, I'm picking up. So, uh, about to say. so, all right, blessings. <clears throat> Here we go. Greetings is Edgar Casey. Atlantean gold mines you're here to connect with. There, yes, there is an Orion connection as Atlanteans were Orions, Atlantean beings from Orion, basically. Uh, a lot of them Atlanteans were from Sirius also. There's a mixture of realities, yes, a mixture of beings, as the Atlanteans are the ones to our greater beings. Yes, they're the ones to create life. Not God, no, but they can put together, you know, different organisms as uh, Anunnaki do also. Mm -hmm. Very similar to Anunnaki, actually, in that regard. As you can see, they're not exactly a successful race. Of course, they are part of the black magic of our planet at this time, uh, called the Druids. <laughs> um, most of the Druids, actually. <laughs> Yes, sir. We're going to stay with, stick with the druids at this moment. <laughs> so, connecting to the lion and connecting to fire will help you understand the hidden histories of this earth, meaning the Masonic vibrations that are going on in your world, a program of your society. Yes, as you know, it's hinted in symbolism but many of you are open up your intuitive abilities because realize, yes, research cannot connect to everything. It cannot. As I have proven that in my incarnation. Not everything has been uncovered as I discovered, but also give you something to look at. Atlanteans during their 7,000 year, 7,000 years, and it was more than that, 7,000 years on this planet, 7,000 year mark. Uh, bringing new technologies, health, and even to actually join the Anunnaki to grow into what you are today. 
kind of morphed into it also gave a lot of and you're all exchanging information as many corporations exchange information with other corporations you can also look at it. corporations are alien groups <laughs> or alien motherships that matter that are in a corporate uh, ladder you can look at corporations and like the main corporation, the mothership, and then you see the little buildings scattered about, you know. So, but a lot of your energies are also connected to Aztec, of course. A lot, the Aztec was there to hide a lot of the Illuminati energies through war, through the jungles. So they can take an Aztec knowledge because a lot of advanced Atlanteans were Aztecian beings and brought war to the Middle East, you can say. <laughs> well, that wasn't always the plan, but Aztec energies or technologies are known to turn things around, <laughs> to hide the hidden hand, <laughs> to hide the Atlantean. And we are going to say as Atlantean Orion beings that are running your planet. Do you find that once again, fire symbols, the feline, and yes, the positive Atlanteans are involved with crystal energies, your awakening. Of course, your nose, your awakening isn't all so easy. Uh, crystal shops are usually Atlantean beings. And all and around a lot of the crystallized waters around your world, I just call it that. Uh, a lot of Atlantean and a lot of the Atlanteans are actually are in Cambodia, at least their energies are. So, so some of them, yes, are very primitive. They don't have to be on a corporate ladder. The more primitive, the better, actually. More Indian like so you can live a simple life which is a lot of Atlantean vibrations in India of course and that's another reason why some of these countries stay in a third world status because of the Atlantean way so some countries want to be simplistic the positive Atlanteans but then the darker elite come in to make that simplistic life hell South Africa is one version of it. India is another. Most of the Indian people are actually quite decent people, even those in Tibet also. But, of course, a darker side has to come in. Your Yemen has been hijacked. Your Yemen, Yemen has a lot of alien technologies that are buried beneath the ground, hidden deep. And many of you can psychically connect to those vibrations. As why is Yemen hidden from your consciousness? As most of you probably couldn't find it on a map for good reason. That is your current Vietnam War that's not publicized at all. Your secret war, you can say. Of course, there's many secret wars on your planet, but that is one that is making itself more known. Africa has been hijacked from the lower dimensional being. Of course, Africa is alien to your world. Of course, everything is alien, but Africa is very much an alien continent. As you know. Maybe too alien, meaning it's so hostile, it's not an easy place to live. That's all you know. I'll return later. I agree. It's going to be something anybody's talking about. Well, this is going to be old, actually, uh, when this is uploaded. Uh, so, Atlantean spirit world, Atlantean beings helping us. Um, they are spirit beings. They are helping us through all of this. I think I mentioned this yesterday, actually. So, think of them as... Yeah, they have difficulties connecting with us because of the word astral to keep us from ourselves. 
this is all an experiment, but as we start to realize the Atlantean spirit guys, Atlantean spirit world, uh, think of like the Atlanteans came here as spirit beings, you can say, uh, to connect, or you can say our world has always been connected to spirit, but uh, to help us to, for life to be born here, you know, you have to, the physical, even if it's fourth dimension, whatever it might be, fourth dimensions of our world, so has to be a, a spiritual connection for a spirit being to incarnate here. So you can call this uh, the Atlantean New Earth, you can say, of reconnecting to our powers. As we have learned a great deal, we're going to the next generation of ourselves. <laughs> so we are, you know, graduating from, you can call it failure, call it whatever you want. Um, life is about ups and downs, of course. So, uh, so call us uh, Atlantean New Earth. So, I think that's a good way. Okay, blessings, here we go. Greetings, we are the Atlanteans. For our connection to you, yes, is we are, sorry, your signature of creation. The breath of humanity was already here before we even showed up. As the human was finding, the, the human energies from astral and spirit was finding itself here already in your early stages as even before a human was even put on this earth as you yes, had visitors from Pleiadians, syrians and yes felines reptilians but overall the human kept speaking out so for us atlantean beings you can say we're brought in to seed the earth. As other beings are seeding the earth also, that's why you have the animals here today. Now you can say what you want for Earth's history. But for the human history, you say you were created through us, through felines, through Palladians, through the Syrians through all the beings that you are connected to today. Through all that, you were formed. Your form changed over time. Yes, it took some time to understand yourselves. You're also getting glimpses of human, as yes, there are some human races, some alien races create humans without, without a problem. <laughs> They want to make it look easy, but yes, the human experiment failed for a lot of them because a lot of them went the quick way of going about it. You can say we went about the slow way for your slow birth into this world. As many of you might feel as you when you first opened your first eyes here on Earth, many of you became angels of this planet and are still here today. Yes, you've had incarnation here, but many of you feel like you have an angelic presence here. Because you've been here so long, you feel like you know how humans are. So you can say the first beings on Earth were actually angelic. Angelic energies here. First, an angel planet in its beginning stages. Perfect. Everything is perfect or non-perfect, however you want to describe it we are getting to know more of yourselves an angelic reality and in Lantian new earth you're understanding your angelic selves of connecting to the universe not everyone's going to agree with everyone no but you're also realigning your energies of the universe to be for you to see the universe more clearly for you to be part of the universe again 
For you to be a member of Mars, Jupiter, Venus, as you were once at one time, you were not just on this world. You're on many worlds in your early lives. Just to stay on one planet does not make sense, doesn't it? You are here to explore. You explored this world. Many stayed here to explore. But many of you went to other planets. You brought your knowledge back together. So all it was, the early stages was learning. All right, uh, this is the uh, next segment. Lessons. Sure, it's working. Testing, testing. Okay. Sure. Greetings, we are the Atlanteans. Crystal energies, yes, is what brought human and soul together. Crystal skulls carry a, a new crystal skull. The yes, the crystal skulls carry much knowledge of human beginnings. The skull itself is like the human skull, a future skull, or Back then, it was a future skull of what you were to be. A crystallized body. A cri yeah, bones were crystal energies for the soul to just come right into the body very easily. So think of yourself as a crystal skeleton. So, of course, it connects to consciousness. And over time, it was designed for you to be as you are today. Yeah, your brain energies are much different than they are today. As much Anunnaki brought in what you are currently. Now, there are different versions of realities. So we want to say to keep an open mind to all things said. Some might say it's a manipulation, but keep your minds open. Because... You might look away where the truth is right in front of you. <laughs> Many just want to, oh, that's not true, and move on. But realize in your reality, you're going into a new level of yourselves. Of uh, realizing there's multiple, there's billions of different realities that you can connect to. <laughs> and not all of you are here at the same time during the past. As far as we know, you were not. Many of you are coming enlightened as you are, yes, specialist, spiritual understanding enough where you can bring in knowledge. Now, many of those are in a spiritual awakening themselves. Some might have a large ego. Some might have a lot of personal issues. It doesn't really matter. You're here to awaken others, so you're not here to be perfect. Just because you're not a smoker or a drug addict doesn't mean you don't have your own personal issues that some of you pick up on. That's why not everybody's like, that's why not everybody's going to be always on the same level of, you know, not always, you're not always going to get along with each other. There's nothing wrong with that. But you are bringing in information to heal this earth. Crystal vibrations. Crystal energies within the earth will eventually be ri risen from the grounds into your modern world you have crystals everywhere now you are understanding crystal energies are much more connected to your earth hidden much of them in the fourth dimension but you still can bring in those vibrations crystal energies brought the soul into the physical <laughs> crystal chambers crystal earth it's like that is how you brought the soul in to begin now it is not exactly how we described it but you know, a crystallized skeleton structure, we're going to sit with that for right now for you to connect with. Because others will see it differently, but there's different forms that were done. But a, a 
Yeah, and your your bone structure is a lot different in your ancient your first ancient past. Well, we took an Atlantean energy, an Atlantean structure as we already had, and changed it and added more DNA as many humans wanted to be seeded into a new human. So we said we created another version of Atlantean with Anunnaki assistance, of course. But once we Atlanteans during the Atlantean wars, we got disjointed. Disconnected, <laughs> broken. <laughs> uh, some some became us yes, evil, and their Anunnaki were not. It's like an Atlantean Z's Atlantean curse, where we were out of the picture. Well, we're in the picture, but as for your your what you are today, is. More of an Anunnaki. Of course, you have other beings, Palladian, the Lyran was much involved. But much of the Atlantean was out of the picture of that. And what's also depicted in your, your movies, your alien movies, uh, the engineer is very much like an Atlantean being, actually. <laughs> Not exactly, no. But... Um, it kind of represents that. Some of us say it's Anunnaki, but Anunnaki Atlantean, we did connect to the past, but it's more of an Atlantean vibration. <laughs> Whereas much of the Atlanteans, yes, we were in a more spiritual reality, but we did exist in the physical. <laughs> There's different generations of, of Atlantean also. But as for you to connect with, if you even believe anything at all. <laughs> Okay, this isn't exactly a channeling, but it is a. I'm gonna go. So today's date, I think the date's on here, but today's date is uh, October 1st, 2020. So I've been getting a couple of downloads, and I'm gonna go into it tonight. Also, so it's just. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna post this anywhere first before I mention it. Probably. I've been debating how to go about this so but so uh because I think this is kind of important. I'm gonna this is where we're heading. Uh getting downloads is not huh, yeah, easy. <laughs> so you just gotta put information out there. And let people take whatever they want. Let them believe whatever they want. Care. So, um, so um, where to start? Um, so I've been getting feelings of um, um, like monsters, monster beings, uh, creatures, and it's been something that's been. Uh, Feeling like if you think about how monsters are running the world, like creature beings, like, and when I start, it was like, I want to say it was like Tuesday, mythology beings, you know, like, um, not just reptilians, but just creatures in general. I've had attachments in the past, in 2011, where I felt I heard the thing talk. It was terrifying. <clears throat> I got rid of it. Uh, that night, but you know, sometimes you have to go through these things um, to learn about what's going on here. And that was quite, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it sounded like a monster. It was a more astral being, but still. So I think about creatures that are running the planet and creatures from Orion, you can say, you can say wherever they, wherever you want to say they're from. Uh, creatures from Orion is uh, uh, creatures from all over the place, but they're monster beings. And, you know, from mythology. I don't know what kinds exactly. 
I just got a sense from that. <laughs> uh, they're not the easiest to tap into. <laughs> it's very difficult, actually. Um, it's just, ain't, look at Greek mythology, um, a mythology. Now, I've connected to reptilians, I've, I've felt, I've, con I've connected to, uh, well, of course, I've felt reptilians, but um, dragons. I've actually felt a dragon. One thing, channeling a dragon, but feeling a dragon come in and actually protect you, which is just, just something else. Yeah, because to go into that a little bit, yeah, um, I forgot what the name of it was. I was tapping into certain things. This is a while back now. Not that, maybe last year sometime. I forget. Um, the Sentinels. Like you see in Marvel comics, like robots, and they're really dark. <laughs> and then I felt a a dragon come through to kind of push them away. So I'm not fully aware of all the realities that are here, <laughs> but that was I actually felt a dragon protect me. So you can't forget something like that. And of course, before that, I've had a dark elf uh, come to me and hang around me for a couple of days. That was interesting. <laughs> I didn't know they existed. <laughs> and something that you'll see out of a cartoon, basically. So, but where I'm going is the monster beings, creatures. It's like, how can, how can this happen to humanity? <laughs> um, how can this happen altogether? It's like, so if it was like, like monsters in mythology that are doing this, um, it all kind of makes more sense why humans are cast away like they're nothing. I mean, it might look like a crazy person. I'm not just saying it's reptilians. Like I said, reptilians play a small role in this. I'm talking about, I don't know what I'm talking about. Just every type of bizarre creature you could think of. I haven't, yeah, I even get the sense of what I'm talking about. You know, I can't attention. So, Yeah. <laughs> But dragons do play a role in that, but there's it's much more to it. Just, I mean, I don't. I I didn't put anything together to dive. I'm I'm still working on this. <laughs> it's just a feeling I've been getting recently, just the last couple of days, and it's the first time you're mentioning it. I'm not scared or anything, but when you think about it, why is society? Look at society. Look at the world. It's not going anywhere. Now, David, I did us a justice to talking about reptilians. I did, you know. Queen drinking blood, sure. I can see her doing it. Um, I can just see her doing more than that. But anyway, <laughs> I, know, I know she's heard that, obviously, and she hates it. And I think that's that was kind of the point. <laughs> so, is she a blood drinking Brazilian? Probably not. But I think it's funny just her hearing about that. <laughs> it's like, like, it's like David Ike's not gonna be her. her um, He's not going to be on her uh, visitor list. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. But, but you know, other realities or dimensions, I can see her drinking the stuff by the barrel. But anyway, um, yeah, so, well, definitely that clan. But, yeah, it's like things aren't really, not that the creatures are that easy to tap into. Like, you got to open up your belief systems. <laughs> you got to really open yourself up. They're not the easiest to tap into. Of course, when I'm talking about them, I can feel them right now. Uh, but they don't make it easy. <laughs> you just, they play, I mean, I don't think they're the main players, but they're major players here of uh, controlling our society, being the crap out of us, you know, you know, torturing us, whatever it might be. You know, just poverty and all of that. They don't care. Now, what, why would they care? What, what, we're just, we're just nothing. And you're talking about a creature <laughs> that might be humanoid, maybe. Uh, but I'll go more into it uh, over time. It's been a long day. And I'm not getting a full image of who exactly what they look like. I mean, you can say they're the ugliest things out there. Uh, archons are connected to it, but I haven't got a definite idea of what I'm dealing with here. But just look at ancient mythology, you have like a two-headed dragon, you have all these little creatures all through mythology. And what do you feel from them? Because they're all real. But are they running our show? 
I believe they are playing a big role in it. You know, it would make sense because we we dismiss it. Oh, that's just fiction. But yeah, it's in our TV. It's in. That's why media is so important. That's why movies are so important. Look at The Simpsons. They freaking had an episode about a virus, um, and President Trump was in there too, in the same episode. And riots, a statue, and riots going on on the same episode. I forgot what episode. I don't watch Simpsons, but yeah, it was all in one episode. You have to look it up. But yeah. So, um, what world are we in right now? <laughs> yeah. So we're in a world where there's monsters running the show. Yeah, it's in, like I said, it's in the movie, so they're telling us stuff. We've got Alien movie and on and on. They're, they're just putting this right in front of us, and we say, oh, that's not real. But what if it is? Because when I connect to this stuff, the suckers are talking to me. It's not just coming through my mind, like thoughts. I can feel them talking. <clears throat> and they're just, they say, yes, they're real. And what are you going to do about it or something like that? <laughs> it's like, but I haven't got a full identity of what I'm dealing with here. <laughs> and I don't think it's tricks or energy. Well, yeah, I mean, these are tricks or energies, but I don't think when he's talking, he's being a trickster, <laughs> you know? I don't think he's being a trickster by saying we're real. Uh, you know, I mean, think about it. I mean, where have people gone thinking about this stuff? I mean, have you, has, are many people thinking it that way? There's a bunch of creature beings running the show. Of course, there's more to it than that, but still, I mean, you want this awakening. We got to start awakening <laughs> for it to happen. So, and also I got a download of, um, I'm not sure if I would remember all this for tonight, but um, about uh, the world was um, one of our versions of Earth or before we came here. That's what I'm getting. I don't know if it's 100% true. I'm just going to put it out there. Um, well, I see a feline. I see Earth as a feline society. I do see canines there. I do see few, a couple of humans there. And I do feel like rabbit beings are there also in some shape or form. And they did have birds, but birds like we see here. When I say felines, I mean alien felines, like humanoid. And But there were humans there too. Um, and it feels like they had a war with the reptilians. I'm not sure about that, but that's what my feeling is. And the world became more reptilian-like. And that brought in the dinosaurs and things like that is what I'm feeling. So there might be very different variations of that. Uh, but it feels like the few lines, like, um, now remember, there's different versions of all of this. So um, I feel like the few lines ran their course here. Like they were here for a long time anyway, from what I'm gathering. And a lot of them left or something like that. And maybe there was no war, but it feels like there was something that happened. I'm just putting this out there. And it became more of like a reptilian controlled planet, which explains the dinosaurs. And then that all went away. And there were humans there too. But what's funny is that when I see the fuel on the society, it doesn't mean they're dri driving around in cars and stuff, but they probably have, I don't know, they're not showing me exactly, but they are humanoid. But I do feel a few humans here. I don't know about, it was like a thousand of you or a couple million, but they were here. They weren't out, you know, there's still more feline energies here. But it's quite uh, fascinating. I also got a download about uh, tall whites being our, the architecture of us of um and they're from orion um like went from the Wirens to the tall whites you can, you can say to the palladians to us but the tall whites play a big role or the role in human evolution so you have this, the the Wirens feline the Wirens human is that their own humans and then it went to uh andromeda eventually but 
the tall whites. Oh, so I feel like the tall whites, we are a generation of theirs, which is Orion connected. So at least, you know, five fingers and all that. Um, I could be wrong about that, but I don't think so. I think we, I think they're just the design of us comes from them. So, um, at least that's the feeling of it. I just put that out there. It's quite fascinating. Um, so ancient civilizations, of course, when you look at ancient maps of the world, <clears throat> how the hell do they know all that shit? <laughs> it's like, I mean, you ever look at ancient map? It's like, well, they didn't have planes. How the hell they, and they got the longitude and latitudes right. So yeah, they were more advanced. They were more advanced than they're letting on. They're just not, they, they, it's all covered up all through history. All through freaking history. So yeah, that's why they run the history books. That's why they run the, the teachers. They're not telling us the full story, obviously. Uh, but I never really looked at the maps that much. But yeah, really the maps is like that's all. I mean, a lot of it could have been downloaded, but it's much more to it than that. They're not going to details. Some things they won't go into detail, but I know that. Um, I wish we get a version of it somehow. But I never really thought about looking at the maps. I remember seeing it, but I never really put much into it. But you know, this is you know because what we're going through is a time of an awakening. So expect more bizarreness being talked about. Let's put it that way. Just um, this is weirdness. I mean, it's already been weird, but it's going to get more and more bizarre. It's uh, time. So uh, people don't take this in. You know, they don't believe it. Doesn't matter. Who care? I'm putting it out there. The world doesn't want it. I don't care. <laughs> you know, it's like what? I don't care. I mean, you care, but so what? You won't. It's like, you know, it's out there. You get ignored. So what? <laughs> Not by, you know, by the majority of the world. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's fine. So what? It's like, you know, if you want to dance around in a circle all day, as society is built up to do, it's fine by giving alternative ways of looking at things. And there's always multiple different realities and all this and that. And people say this is wrong and that's wrong. It's like, that's right. This is wrong. But there's multiple of everything. But people aren't ready to pick up on that. It's just not happening. So yeah, they're just not. They're just so that's ego connected. So I don't disconnect. I don't discount anything unless it's from somebody I can't stand. <laughs> that's a different story. But even there, I'll keep it open. But I still don't. I don't like the person or channel were. I don't care much about that person, but I'll yeah, those are more. But <laughs> doesn't matter. All right, blessings. <clears throat> okay, this is about. Uh, I tried to make this video earlier, and then work blew up <laughs> earlier today. So. Um, this is about the presidential election. And I just feel um, like it doesn't I mean it matters, but it doesn't matter who makes it in. <laughs> um, yeah, it's weird. Uh, before I felt Trump needed to be in there in 2016. But now I don't think it matters. What's done is done. What what had to be done is done. And it doesn't matter who's there anymore. So it's interesting. I mean, if Trump wins, great. Um, but then we have to listen to the media cry all. It's, it's almost sad watching them be act like that. I mean, it, it is sad, actually. Uh, but <clears throat> but with like, it's weird. Like with Biden, it's... Um, it's weird. It's it's like like a military energy comes in. Not that there's not a military energy with Trump, but with Biden, it seems like it's stronger. It's like the house is burning down, but the media is covering it up. <laughs> it's like uh, you know they blame Trump for everything basically. Uh, but is it? Oh, it's his fault. Is that and you know he's not even in the game anymore. 
<clears throat> I just feel um, let's put. I just feel a military presence if Biden gets that. I just put it that way. Um, is it friendly or not? Um, I don't know. Um, yes and no. Middle. I just I just feel a military presence there, and it's uh, I mean yeah, I feel like it's best for Trump to win, but it's not a guarantee. <laughs> not, not. At this point, it can go either way right now. Uh, is what I'm getting, which I did not feel in 2008 or 2016. 2016, I felt like he he's got to win. He better win this. I wasn't sure if he's going to win, but he better win. But see, this time around, it's like I don't think it really matters. I mean, it's uh, you know, we're yeah, we're into some big changes coming in. Yeah, does it matter who's president? Not really. You know, that's where I'm getting at. So, yeah, this thing's beyond the presidency. And, you know, it's just a figurehead. And if you have some guy that's 80 years old and brain damaged, um, you know, more power to you. It makes us, it's funny how the people, they say that we look like a shame because of the, the presidential, you know, the um, debate. Uh, we already have an 80 year old guy with dementia running for president. So I think we already surpassed being an embarrassment. Um, it's like, I think we're way past that. <laughs> uh, yeah, and all these Democrats are all for a guy that can drop dead at any time. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's just, it's humorous how you have a corpse out there uh, running for press. It's, it's absolutely humorous. But I mean, that's, it's, that's what I mean. It's part of the joke. It's like if that guy wins, it's just hilarious. It's like it's like a comedy. It's like a it's a horror movie. It's a, it's horrible, but it's also a comedy. It's like let's just watch the empire go down. I mean, there's just nowhere. I mean, he's just there to to take us down, basically. Trump's trying to change things, and Biden's just scared to to sink us into the hole. But you know, it's not the end of the world or anything like that. It certainly will get the media to shut up. Uh, they can. Graduated guy is half dead. <laughs> it's absolutely humor humorous in that regard. But I mean, the guy is just not there. <laughs> but good luck on uh, telling that to the Democratic Party. You know, they have to, you know, send everything to him uh, through a mic or whatever it might be. So everybody's against Trump right now. So it, it's just be interesting. I don't know. It doesn't, I don't care who wins at this point. I mean, you know, I'd rather Trump win, but like I guess I don't think it. Um, it's, it's a weird, it's just a bizarre feeling. It's just, I just not have a, yeah, like in 2016, it's like Trump better freaking win this because you know, it's not looking good. And at this point, it's just um, uh, either or. I mean, Trump will win, things will get a lot lighter. I mean, yes, things are going to look bad, of course. Uh, riots are probably going to definitely, but I thought that was going to change it under Biden either. They just try to cover it up a little bit better. So, yeah, I mean, the protests they put on the news just to make Trump look bad. But if Biden's in there, it's like, oh, what protests? Oh, yeah. Oh, that building on fire? Oh, don't look at that. Just just look the other way. <laughs> They'll just cover stuff up. <laughs> so that's part of it. And they're doing it now. Obviously, they're doing that with him. I mean, the guy is, is not there. <laughs> he's literally not at home. And he's running for president. And sure, why not? You know, so... It'd be uh, quite, it'd be, I mean, I don't think he's going to win, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. It's just, it's a bizarre time. It's very, we're, yeah, we're, we're just, this is just the beginning of weirdness. <laughs> we're just getting started. Yeah. I mean, the guy, I mean, by him, he's going to fall asleep. You know, they, they put him into, yeah, he's going to fall asleep any chance. I mean, he's going to be falling asleep through the whole presidential Instagram. It's hilarious. That's what I mean. This is, this is great. It just, <laughs> just so. Um, I mean, even when he was doing the debate, it looked like he was sleeping. So, so yeah, it's just roll with it. But yeah, changes are coming. Definitely, we're just we have just begun. Yeah, next year is going to be bizarre. We're already there, but I don't think we've really hit. We have not fully hit the twilight zone just yet. It's yeah. I mean, I didn't really see 2020 where this. I didn't see any of this coming. Um, of course, others are bragging about this. So give me a freaking break. Just you know, the ego is just completely 
you know, they got nothing better to do. Just congratulate themselves all day. <laughs> but um, but next year feels like this is the year of uh, that's the major change here. This year's change. Next year is yeah. This is this is nothing. So um, not the really, not the gloom and doom on there, but just that there's major change on the way. So, but yeah, I think Trump should win this, but I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's, I guess that, I mean, it's the shadow government. <laughs> I mean, they're already on both sides anyway, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like it's already on autopilot. So, it'd just be, yeah, it's weird. I don't know. I just want to, anyway, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, getting an, an alien in the present, that'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think I think this year is going to kick off the next of the most bizarreness. It's just going to get more bizarre. Uh, the alien download reality might come. In, I don't know. It's just we're we're in we're in we're in a weird um, reality. That's for sure. So, all right, uh, this is a much of a upload or anything but it's something so all right blessings all right blessings this is a uh, cloning Greetings, we have the Arcturians. Your heart, yes, is made of matter. It all comes from the heart of who you are. Your soul is like a heart. It is just a loving energy. Even in the dark realm, it's a loving energy from darkness. So your cloning is a way of growth, as you can see. Yes, it's used on your planet or against your planet this time. Of a scientific research of basically how to program your world because they can't always get you to do what they want but a clone they can so if you signed up in the astral realms to be a leader a king and then you begin to as they call it, fuck up uh, you're no longer listening they replace you and it's used to put a clone there than a human a replacement because you you build up this social status, unless they want to just get rid of you altogether. But also, souls are known to retaliate. Most souls in the power world is a clone of some kind. Now, you can have a clone that's still very much like the original. So, it's just usually for safety perspe perspectives also. If something happens to that clone and they want to keep it going, so they interfere with it to they replace it basically <laughs> if you're very important like a president or someone of high office yes you're going to have a, a clone energy and some of you feel like you're cloned on a different level it's not always there to be connected to either the world does not fully have to know everyone's perspective has a different vibration also but you'd be so, yeah, and sometimes you don't want to share your clone self to anyone, meaning that not everybody's going to be able to pick up on their vibration. I mean, as they tap into it, they don't see it. It's not there to be seen. <laughs> so you're bringing in a, a new uh, vibration altogether of program. So you're bringing in more positive clones and darker ones. <laughs> That's the initial idea. <laughs> So cloning, yes, has always been part of your Earth's history. Now, it's not always all part of the world's history and plants, but for yours, yes, because yours is under a quarantine huh, for thousands of years, not just a couple of months. So this quarantine Earth is now going into a refresh, a reboot, a redefine, and that's what you're giving. What's happening now is also it's peace out of chaos is what you're coming through. So, yes, Many of you, it's the clone factories on other planets that are integrated into your world, into your astral world, to migrate into your reality. It is true also of stopping time, where there's no way. Some of you sometimes get a, a energy of it, but usually it's not an indication of it. So many of you actually have an alien contact without knowing it. 
It's just it's erased, just like you see in the movies, basically. So it's a very real element. <laughs> and it's time for you to start. The more you want to see when time is frozen, can I see when time is frozen? <laughs> Only when you're ready, of course. <laughs> Because it is, it can cause a shock to the system. Because you can be moving, but everybody else is stopped. They have a way of just changing the energy so nobody remembers. You know, just go back to your merry way. Yes, yeah, so you can be on a roller coaster, and it stops, and everything gets moved around. You're not there to notice it either. It's part of Earth's process. <laughs> As you become more aware of this, it becomes... Because your, your world is being programmed constantly. You always hear program, program, program. Well, yes, it's connected to a machine. What kind of machine? Machines in Orion. But not as what you can see in your imagination. Well, or then again, just um, you maybe you can connect to it. It is organic matter that they connect to. It has or, uh, AI, of course, but it has a higher intelligence. That connects to higher dimensions also. Your world has been militarized. It's a milita militarization of your planet. But you're finally healing into it eventually. You're going into a, a golden age of your knowing. This is the golden age of the knowing now. Of course, you might not have all the answers. Yes, much of this is Dulce connected. It is New Mexico connected, yes. <laughs> I also say it's, it's Mexico connected. <laughs> but there's much more to it than that. Of cloning farms and how this all works. Once again, much of this is all planned, but it's also an energy that is working within many of you at this time. To free yourselves from this matrix reality. To heal this universe. So, yes, the idea is to have a power. To have a healing reality. So you can see what's happening. It's like, I am ready to see what's here. And let that sit with you for some time. There's different levels of spirituality. Some of you are keys to unlock the reality that you are in. By bringing in a different download... And some of you are here to reprogram this reality. And you know who you are. Computer universe. All right, blessings. Here we go. Greetings to you. We are the Elohim. Greetings. As we are much part of your growth, as we are, yes, many Elohim energies are here, yes, and it is the Arturians, are bringing energies to the sun for your existence here. Your universe, your being, yes, is particles. Yes, you're in a human form, but also you can evaporate. And come back together. <laughs> you might not see that in the physical. <laughs> uh, because you're in the, the physical jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> and as you become more aware that your reality is a programmed reality. As you know, the trees are programmed, grass is programmed, all things are programmed. And many humans are still. But sometimes detaching from the programming is not always necessary to do too quick. It's a gradual process because you're unprogramming yourself. So you're so used to a way of life, so way, used to a way of thinking, to just instantly snap and change everything is very difficult, as many of you like. And that's what the alien vibrations are. You're shifting to more of an alien consciousness, but there's still much to learn. There's still much within yourselves that you're still dealing with as you're healing yourselves, your higher selves, and going to the next level of you. So you're healing a lot of the Arcturian knowledge, too. Arcturians lost a lot of their knowledge through war. And so the physical realms have helped them remember as they are affected, too, by the negative forces in the universe. Aliens do forget. <laughs> and you are here to put back the pieces of your reality, of who you are. And you can say Earth is like a restart. 
going back to the third dimension. Yes, being very patient, maybe over pay, overly patient. And as some of you are used to quick and done and over with, and the humans, this 100 years is okay. <laughs> I'm that patient. <laughs> but yes, a lot of knowledge has been lost with many aliens, much, mostly the Arturians, because they're the ones that carry a lot of Akashic Record vibrations. So you are incarnating here to relive what has been lost, what's been forgotten. Yes, you are dealing with a reptilian presence, is more intuitive than that. Uh, you're also healing these beings that are here, as many of you know already. The Orion Force, the schizophrenic Orion, that's pretty much what they are. A schizophrenic energy that's always hearing different voices, open up portals within their minds, but they can't handle themselves. The origin of the schizophrenic comes from Orion. Holes in the mind. Or holes in your reality. <laughs> As schizophrenics see other things. But now you're here to map it together, put it together, heal it. And also they heal your abscess, the those that are causing have rage judgment on your planet. You're just putting, yes, the pieces together slowly for your own healing ability too. But, but the idea of a computerized reality is probably a better word for that, but we're just using that because it's more comfortable. A, a computer reality that just is not really there. It is there for the soul to expand, yes. But as many of you hit a, a point of opening up your third eye, which is not always necessary, but your astral self also. Your cuttings, many of you are living in the astral realm, so of course you're going to remember it. It is it's necessary for your growth, so you're here to awaken. That's your power. To remember the astral realms. Many of you have powers in other ways, but just not always utilized, always aware of it. It's not always necessary to have under full understanding of it. But all of this is about retrieving information that's been forgotten. Yes, there's so growth in it, but sometimes beings forget their growth. You get to a high vibrational level, and then you forget yourselves. It happens a lot. Blessings to you. This is uh, the Orion Morse. All right, blessings. Uh, this is just a quick channeling. Uh, where is this going to go? We will uh, possibly go into cloning and other things like that. So, all right, blessings. Here we go. Greetings to you. Yeah, the Orion Council. As yes, we have been waiting for you. Uh, your DNA is going into an enhancement. As you wish to know more about your world, yes, Orion puts a big role, but many things do play a big role. And your timelines have a lot to do with who is willing to set you free. A lot of beings are not really, really willing to negotiate what you know of who you are. So there's that is what many of you are doing in astral to get downloads, to understand where you're heading, to heal the earth. And there's going to be many battles between now and your peaceful times. As yes, your earth is going through it technically and a derailment, you're also going through an enlightenment. And some are going through their own internal enslavement. <laughs> you are here to bound others together to shake your realities. That's what you're doing right now, as many of you are opening up to multiple realities within a reality. As you can say, there's 10,000 or 10 million realities going through your world at this time. All possibilities. All just 
timelines are just thrown into your world as some of you are feeling that. Some of you feel like you're stagnant in a desert period. And sometimes you put yourself in a prison. <laughs> the Orion War is difficult to digest with Orion presence. Even your Anunnaki reality. As yes, this is a computerized realm. Uh, but what kind of computer is it? It's an organic computer. So it is not always what you see, think it is. As yes, we are always watching. There's always alien beings watching. And you're giving clues to yourselves. You're not even realizing it. This is why you like the certain movies that you do, entertainment. It is uh, your, ident your ID card of pop culture, or of no pop culture for that matter. As many do come here just to cause chaos. <laughs> but many of you are here to, yes, connect with nature, but also know nature itself, to go into the download of nature that goes into the Gartha foundations of who you are. Of course, your Anunnaki put a lot of light codes in nature into you that brought life into your existence. So you take life from nature, from the sun, and bring it into the body, which also brings in the soul. So you can say your soul comes from the sun. <laughs> soul comes from many different places. It's wherever the spirit world lays where it lives and it finds a way into your reality and yes you have a complex place as you can see you are clearing out the walls the blockages and you're seeing different versions of religions different versions of jesus and there's much more that has not been there are sacred places not even a download difficult to get a full download on of certain religions, certain knowledge, because we're not ready to fully allow you to see everything just yet. Even we are at a neutral council. There are frog people here. There are even dinosaur beings around you. <laughs> As the fundamentals of your reality, what created you. That's in our mind, there is actually a McDonald's, it's not called that. <laughs> But of course, what you have here comes from different places. So you're here to tap into your higher realms, your higher selves. You'll be on the third dimension. So yes, free your minds. Let your mind just fly. Let your imagination open the doors instead of closing it. Just let your... That is the fourth dimension, yes. The insanity of the universe, basically. <laughs> but that in, instead of shutting down, and I'm not, well, there's going to be always uncertainty, but let yourself flow. Let yourself be free. It's a time for society to realign with the universe. Even your Area 51 is going to have light codes of opening. Some of you are already doing your own. Ascension energies into Area 51 and other alien facilities for your own healing. As some of them, as you go into astral into these places, you might not feel like you're being rejected, or even the CIA for that matter. They're not as strong as they seem they say they are. As you're actually projecting these government facilities, you learn more about yourself also. If you're scared or if you're not. <laughs> but yes, the alien vibrations cannot hide forever. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so you're bringing a bridging into a new age, a new age of no fear. You might be more tired of humanity and more awakened to the alien, you know, energies, as many of you know. And that is a part of ascension, is you're ascending away from this earth, you can say. Always some third, in, third dimensional program is going to a more 5D reality. What is best for you? And that is many things. We're also healing the the table. You have a dinner table. There's also a life table where you're invented, where you're created. 
as the project human is coming to an end, as many of you feel. Project alien is not necessarily a project, but it is a, a new era. The doorway into that is occurring. And it does open up realms within, themself, within yourselves, doesn't it? A cluster internal. As Orion Wars was, yes, a punch into the universe. It was beings that feel like they can control the universe. So they have your planet as their... This was one of the most beautiful planets, and still is. And was easily taken over by weakness within Atlantean beings. Uh, yes, you can thank your insect for that. <laughs> a single insect can cause a great deal on a world which your Atlanteans are not prepared for. And who is? Who is prepared for insect? It's just a little thing. Who is going to be worried of something like that? As some are bringing worry of that. There's many layers of learning of yourselves. You might look at insects quite differently as you go into your new age. There's many other things. You can't talk to the trees, you talk to the grass, you talk to the sun, but what about the insects? As they are teachers of your reality is one of the reasons why your world is the way it's today. You're here to unlock from that programming. Because they're very good programming societies, as you can see. And yes, they are connected to Archon vibrations. So, a guideline of thinking. Many of you cleared that. You just hit delete. Remote society, because I've done that. Let's just... Okay, this is a um, a broken universe and um, the birth of the Anunnaki. Interesting. All right, Boston, see we go. Greetings, we are the Arturians. We are the council. Greetings to your society, your growth, your mannerisms, you, who you are. Yes, many of you had a feline approach, a feline face at one time in your incarnate incarnation cycle. Yes, and many of you took a, a, a reptilian energy, some went to a canine. You have different faces. And connect to your angelic energies, your rebirth of your soul is the Anunnaki. A rebirth of all animals. What was missing is an Anunnaki energy. I guess a fearless race that isn't necessarily for war, but of course they create their own warrior-like beings. They are like going back to the child, back to source for another creation. A creator being that is unlike anything else ever in this universe. A controversial being, one that, yes, wants to constantly change itself, constantly wants to plastic surgery itself. <laughs> as much of the foundations came from them, as they are not always satisfied with how they look. Now, that's not in the entire race, but there is a a mutual, a portion of their being is like that. The broken universe is, yes, where it's a capacity of growth at one time. And it reset itself. Imagine a universe resetting itself, which brought in your world. Your world is part of the reset which also brought Orion to where it is today. And of course, Orion plays a big role in your growth because it brought a lot of darkness 
the reset brought a lot of darkness, but also brought in the Anunnaki uh, to counter it. To, yes, serve the darkness, but also to bring in the light. Mm -hmm. Those different various connections of Anunnaki, but they're the ones that are bringing your world together, <laughs> bringing other species together. Your Mother Earth, yes, is connected to a Archon Anunnaki energy. As, yes, Mother Earth has made a, a great amount of mistakes, and people are feeling those mistakes, calling their daily life. It is living within them, as many of you experience in your incarnations. There is thus a much of darkness that uh, you're experiencing through Mother Earth, through her decisions, but also you decided to make those decisions with her as we are defining who you are in this incarnation. You're making a new version of human currently. A wider vibration, of course, you call it the new energies, a new everything, new eyes, new everything. So, of course, Anunnaki has not left you been re rejuvenized throughout history. Yes, history is blocked, but also many of you are seeing that it's a reflection of what you need to know today. But yes, much knowledge has been kept away from you. Yes, alien interaction with humans has actually been quite rampant in your Earth's past. Now, of course, not everybody's on those timelines. But yes, aliens have been here in secret in your past, helping out and making sightings and even appearing to humans. Some humans see there's a devil, but they have, that means they've seen a reptilian being. <laughs> Of course, some have seen actual double beings, but usually it's a reptilian energy that disappears out of nowhere. And many reptilian males usually feel like they are normal. Well, they are aggressive towards many human females uh, to create an offspring. Now, we're not going to go into detail of that, but yes, reptilians are still reproducing with females still today. It's just not seen or heard of. <laughs> and usually reptilians in human form while doing this. So you see where a human changes into a reptilian, but that person is very much a reptilian. Yes, they're in human form, and they have to keep that human form. It didn't incarnate with your Earth, but they're still technically a reptilian. Technically, in human form, but still a reptilian. So it's still a continuum. Many aliens that would just become part of the human process. So you have feline beings here, Syrian beings, Pleiadians, as human, and they are the ones that transform often. Now, most of those are your ground crew. Now, many of you are a ground crew. We have a different level of ground crew. We don't necessarily here to shift your vibration to everyone to see who you are. So but a lot of those aliens are walk-ins, meaning they can walk in, incarnate, and then walk out, depending on the being. <laughs> Depending on the situation. So your universe is unfolding as we speak. And you're seeing, yes, a slow migration to fourth dimension. Now many feel like it's not fast enough. You've had enough patience. But humans become very, you have to learn more patience. If you feel like you're out of patience, it's time to discover more patience within yourself. <laughs> Because the world is not going to move quickly. as it, it even slows down, as many of you feel. But it's causing you some of the jolt. Some of you feel sick. Some of you even get this current virus just for the sake of slowing you down. <laughs> Doesn't mean you're going to die of it. But some of you do get it to slow down. So, yes, if you get too persistent, one of the things now, 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 be careful. Yes, you can make yourself sick in some shape or form. Now, energy drainage is one thing, but being actually sick is another. Because some of you see too much in astral, and then you find yourself sick. So you know what you're getting into. You get like, I know I need to see this. You get sick, but you know the repercussions of it. And some of you push on the boundaries of it. That's all we have.